pressured, look out, gets it away, and then just flings it, and it's picked off at the goal line. Justin Simmons. Al, usually this look with two safeties high and a tight end that works down the middle of the field, usually this backer will run with him. He does it. Mahomes locked in. He wanted to get it to Kelsey, but they squeezed him. This is obviously a no-no for anybody. He throws it up. Actually got hit as he released it. Looks like Cooper got to him, yeah. First down. Pacheco. Nice tackle. Coming up Simmons. Stopping him there. Timeout taken by Denver, 258. He was back last week, and this is what he's really known for. His range in the pass game. And then with the experience that he has, how quickly he's able to recognize things and get involved in run support. Eighth year out of Boston College, takes away that space and all that speed and potential of a big play with Pacheco. They didn't have a lot of penalties. They didn't have a lot of defensive penalties given easy first downs. First and ten. And it is Bella Scantling, ball drive free on the hit by Jewel. It's tacked in by Simmons. Was it a catch? Right now they're signaling it was and a fumble. And a turnover, let's see. Does he make a football move? One, two, I believe it is a fumble on the hit by Josie Jewel. Well, and you may be wondering, why is the linebacker that deep? That was the old Tampa 2 look where the safeties go wide. Jewel drops to the deep middle. Fourth and 22, Mahomes getting away from Benito and then just heaving it downfield, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Justin Simmons. Fifth time he's gotten Mahomes in his career. 29th of his career. Now watch up the field. Here's Valdez Scantley tugging with McMillan, it looks like. So are there some question, perhaps, if Mahomes would come in that last series? Allen, a quarterback, and three wide receivers, and spreading people out and letting them rip. Allen, fastball, picked off out of the hands of Gabe Davis and into the arms of Justin Simmons. Hum baby on that one. And hum baby. Off the hands, baby, and into the arms of Simmons, baby, for his third pick of the year. Second takeaway for the Broncos. Off in time, Dobbs steps up, throws in traffic, nearly intercepted. Justin Simmons had hands on that. Kareem Jackson was coming over, too. You'll see Simmons coming over. And as he gets in the middle of the field and that pocket starts to collapse around Dobbs, watch him break on the football in front of Hawkinson and really probably should have had that ball. He has a lot of interceptions during the course of his career, 30 more than anybody else. And go let him play. Here's Spiller. And Baron Browning is there to make the play. Broncos have loved having Browning back in the lineup. He was activated off IR in late October. Coming back in, I'm going to rail against this for the rest of the day unless I see something big happen. But Isaiah Spiller just not used to getting the touches that Austin Echo. I know they need to get more out of their run game, but I don't love changing it up this much. Now the Denver Broncos know and are aware that that could happen every single play. Third and eight stick, and there was a lot of contact on Parham, and there's the flag. Justin Simmons appeared to get there a little bit too early or illegal contact but he has just as much right for this ball as parham does he's going to get that to go for the intercept it's stuck in his the pocket of his sweatshirt so ethan stick may be the guy that simmons knocks it out ball. and eckler recovers justin simmons came on a blitz to force the fumble enough of the completions and yeah. goes back to the blitz package where he's got two guys in the a cap and then sends justin simmons off the outside